How do you take your tank off your motorcycle? Hello and thanks for joining me in this video. We're going to be getting this bike sorted out. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to remove your motorcycle tank. This can apply to a number of different things. You basically have a few steps to follow. I'm going to go through them easily to allow you to do this yourself. So first what we're doing here is taking off the fuel line from the motorcycle tank. It normally comes down the side of the tank. If you have side fairings, take the side fairings off and you'll see this uh, underneath it. It has a Jubilee clip which you can basically just unscrew. I'm using a, a mole grip here to help me keep it away from the tank so it can just drain out easily. Uh, ideally if you had a longer bottle you could just leave it there and have a appliers to hand so you can actually unclip it some of them have jubilee clips that have screws others that have this type of like like a spring a sprung fitting which you can use and with these what you will do is get the fuel out and if the fuel is clean just keep it you might be able to reuse it luckily this tank wasn't that bad but i the paint job looks disgusting on it and um, so how you do it is you slide the tank away and you'll see these rubber bobbins on the frame which actually hold it in place even though I've drained it, you can see there's still a lot of fuel inside the tank itself, so I was a bit surprised. You can see it's slushing about, so what I'm doing is I've taken it to a higher position. I've, I put a little plastic crate on the bottom. I'm going to take the remainder fuel out and uh, try and have doors and windows open because the fuel does smell quite bad. And you'll be surprised to know that the fuel lower down in the tank is where all the gunk collects. So you can see that fuel is a slightly brown colour. And even after draining that, I can still see there's, well, here, fuel in there. Um, so I'll probably uh, put a cloth down into the main uh, top spout and let it collect and suck the fuel out. If you leave it open for a couple of hours, it'll just rinse out. My plan is to respray this tank as well. I used to have a CBR in blue. So what I will be doing is getting that blue colour and respraying the tank. But right now, what we're doing is today taking the tank off. We'll have a quick look around it, see if it's sound, if it's rusty or anything and see what the next steps are. But this will help you if you're thinking about taking the tank off. You can see me do it and it often helps how you do that. So we can take the tap off from the bottom. We're going to open it, make sure all the fuel is fully out. I'll put it on the floor to let it drain out because I can still hear fuel in there. And uh, some of these tanks have like an inner lip so you can't take it out of the up uh, where you normally put the fuel in from, the cap, the fuel cap. So it stops there. So I'm going to use a bit of rag or something, just put it in there and suck up all the extra fuel. And you can see the frame itself of the bike. As we've got the tank off, we'll inspect that quickly. And I can see the frame of the bike is actually nice and clean. There's no rust there, which is normally like a, a sign that if the tank's rusted, it can kind of go down to the frame. You can see it sounds nice here. So we, we should be good with the frame itself. So as we go through this, the main thing you want to keep in mind is uh, if your paint job is already good on your tank, just have loads of uh, extra bedding or cloth or extra sheets underneath it. I saw on the petcock there's supposed to be a plastic filter which was not present on my bike. So that was a bit like oh, this, yeah, this, uh, disheartening. But I suppose this bike's been around. It's 1979, so it's an old bike that I'm doing here. Just inspecting the tank, you can see there's a few marks on the tank. It's been scratched up, and someone's had a spray can to it. I don't think they've done a proper job. They've just sprayed it a blue color. I think it used to be gold because I could see the remnants of the old paint under the the clamp section. So I'm flipping the tank over. Um, this underneath, uh, it's all sound. It's it's aluminium metal. Um, but I saw this black coating. It looked like grease gunge or something. I wanted to just uh, get a wire wool on it and just see if it's uh, okay underneath. Because sometimes what people will do is if it rusts, they try and hide it with like this other, like a black tar type paint. So people don't notice it. Uh, but I'd rather get it off and know what I'm dealing with from this point on. So if I need to clean the tank inside of it. Luckily with this tank, I don't have to clean inside it. So I'm using a little screwdriver. You can hear everything is nice and sound. There's no rusty spots or anything. Because what will tend to happen is if you want to do a full on clean on the inside of the tank, that's when it gets interesting. Things like you can get uh, acid, you can get tank cleaners. If you want to do a DIY job, you can get vinegar, leave it in there overnight, fill it up to the top and then drain it out and then neutralize it with baking soda. There's all sorts of little tricks online that you can try, but I won't need to do that. I'm quite lucky that. That's like a step I can avoid. I will be spraying this, but what we'll do is I'll take off all the little bits and bobs on it. So the filler cap has this uh, little upper section which holds it in place and a key as well. So I'm going to unscrew that, remove that, and we'll take that all off and have a look underneath the cap. You're feeling left out. You're feeling left out. You're doing a booger. What's the matter? What's wrong? 
like I'm talking, talking to myself. Is that what you think it is? So let's quickly take that off and have a look underneath there as well, because I want to make sure that the clamp section uh, where it springs up, because this uh, older style tank, it's got a key lock on there, and then it's got its separate uh, filler cap that you, you stop it. So let's remove that and have a look around the outside. Because when I did remove this, I saw the lip was actually rusty. So maybe I can get away with treating the lip and cleaning that out. I had a good look inside the tank, it wasn't too bad. But this is the main steps of getting the tank removed and making sure that it looks right. Um, I have done this a number of times with different types of bikes, so just keep an eye out and see what works for you. As long as you've got the right tools, you should be okay. If you have any problems, drop a comment below and I'll see if I can help you with it. Uh, the filler cap itself had a bit of rust on it, so I'm just wire brushing that to see if that's just uh, surface rust. Because there will be some elements of rust, so you can see it's nice and clean there. I'll take the little washer off, there's a rubber washer on there, and have a look around this as well and see if I can improve this. The lip of the actual motorcycle tank is like a, the old colour, it's golden, but you can see it's still solid. So this is working through this project. This is how to take your tank off. I have got a few more videos in this series where you can see me respray the tank, how to get it primed, how to get it ready, all of those steps. So you can see the paint's flaking off the old paint that the cowboy, whoever did it. Okay, so we've taken the fuel tank off now. So that was that section. Hopefully you found that useful. I'll see you on the next video here, which will actually take you on the next section of this project.